Would you like to invest in one of the most certain business models around? Would you like to invest in a pandemic-proof company? Even in this health crisis, society still has to operate. Have you noticed that everyone is still using electricity just like they were before? Would you like to profit every time people flip a light switch on and earn market-beating passive dividend income in the process? Then you have to check out today's video. He is a best-selling author. 30-year-old Jason Fieber has a plan. This guy retired at only 33 years old. I don't know if I know too many people that have accomplished something like that. He's really kind of a guru when it comes to passive income. I want to tell you about a high-quality dividend growth stock that pays you big, growing, reliable dividends. These growing dividends are funded by growing profit because this business is providing a vital service to millions of people every single day. In fact, even during this pandemic, its profit has been virtually unaffected. I personally invested in stocks like this one as I went from below broke at age 27 to financially free at 33. Best of all, this stock looks undervalued right now. Price is what you pay, but value is what you get. Why is that important? Because buying a dividend growth stock when it's undervalued should provide for a higher yield, greater long-term total return potential, and reduced risk. With this in mind, I want to tell you about an opportunity I recently came across in shares of Duke Energy Corp, which appear to be trading at a significant discount today. Duke Energy Corp, stock ticker DUK, is a large U.S. utility company. The company operates regulated utilities in the Carolinas, Indiana, Florida, Ohio, and Kentucky. They deliver electricity to 7.7 .7 million customers. With roots dating back to 1900, Duke Energy now sports a market cap of $60 billion. They operate across three segments, electric utilities and infrastructure, 91% of fiscal year 2019 revenue, gas utilities and infrastructure, 7%, and commercial renewables, 2%. Whereas a lot of companies are struggling right now, other business models have been almost completely unaffected by the pandemic. That's because these unaffected businesses are providing vital products and or services to society. Well, it doesn't get much more vital than electricity. We effectively can't live without it. And that's why Duke Energy has been operating normally, more or less, straight through this national emergency. Best of all, there's really no competition. Utilities operate in local monopolies. Admittedly, even the utility company can be affected by a shutdown. Less energy is consumed when economic activity shuts down. However, all of those people sheltering at home right now are still consuming energy. It's just that they're doing it in a different place at home than they otherwise would have at work. Indeed, Duke Energy's Q1 fiscal year 2020 earnings report showed the same gap earnings per share as Q1 fiscal year 2019, and the company maintained guidance. Effectively, there's been little, if any, impact. Investing in a utility company is a good idea under most circumstances, but it might be an even better idea right now. While dividends are being suspended left and right by heavily affected businesses, utility companies are by and large paying and even raising their dividends as if nothing has happened. That makes them some of the most reliable dividends in this environment. Duke Energy has increased its dividend for 15 consecutive years. The 10-year dividend growth rate is a solid 2.9%. Better yet, there's been some signs of modest acceleration with the five-year dividend growth rate coming in at 3.5%. It's not world-beating or eye-popping growth, I'll give you that. However, that's coming on top of a mouth-watering yield of 4.62%. This yield is notably more than 30 basis points higher than the stock's five-year average. In a world of extremely low interest rates and frequent dividend suspension, there's a lot to be said for a large and relatively reliable dividend. Speaking to that reliability, Besides the fact that this is a vital service, the payout ratio is 74.7%. That's actually not especially high for a utility. Most utilities operate with higher payout ratios as they pass on much of their profit to shareholders in the form of cash dividends. This dividend is awfully appealing in this environment. Looking at business growth, Duke Energy has increased its revenue from $14.272 billion in fiscal year 2010 to $25.079 billion in fiscal year 2019. That's a compound annual growth rate of 6.46%. Pretty strong for a utility, but looks can be deceiving. Some of this growth was due to a 2012 merger with Progress Energy Inc. This merger transformed Duke Energy into the powerhouse it is today. We can look at results on a per share basis to get a more accurate feel for the company's true growth. The outstanding share count did rise significantly after the merger. Earnings per share grew from $3 to $5.06 over this 10 year period, which is a compound annual growth rate of 5.98%. Bottom line growth nearly matched top line growth in this case, 
which is surprising and impressive. Looking forward, CFRA is forecasting that Duke Energy will compound its earnings per share at an annual rate of 5% over the next three years. This would be in the same neighborhood of what the company did over the last decade. Duke Energy is obviously not in any danger of collapse or anything close to it. Growth will likely slow in the near term, but in terms of long-term trends, the need and demand for electricity is not going anywhere. I don't think Duke Energy needs to spit out 5% annual earnings per share growth in order to be a great investment. They could do less and still continue with the low single digit dividend raises that shareholders have been accustomed to. If they do manage to grow at that 5% rate, fantastic. But I would temper my expectations over the next year or two. Moving over to the balance sheet, Duke Energy has a levered but acceptable financial position. The long-term debt to equity ratio is 1.17, while the interest coverage ratio is slightly under three. These numbers are in line with what you'll see at many of the large utility companies. They're able to operate with such leverage because of the business model. They provide a necessary service that guarantees revenue. But this is a regulated business model. There's a lot of government oversight here, capping growth and authorizing rate increases when required. Regulation constrains profitability to a degree. Over the last five years, the firm has averaged annual net margin of 12.02% and annual return on equity of 6.86%. These are good numbers for a regulated utility. Of course, there are risks to consider. Regulation, litigation, and competition are omnipresent risks for every industry. Competition is practically eliminated in the utility space due to the monopolistic geographic footprints. However, increasing use of solar at the point of usage creates a viable alternative. Any rise in interest rates will be a negative for the company, as higher rates make debt more expensive and equity less attractive. Also, the regulation could harm the company over the near term due to political resistance on requests for increases in base rates during a challenging time for society. Even with these risks, a regulated utility like Duke Energy could be a fantastic long-term investment. It could be even more fantastic after a 21% pullback from its 52-week high, with the stock now looking undervalued. The stock is trading hands for a price to earnings ratio of 16.05. That's well off of the stock's five-year average PE ratio of 20.8. The cash flow also shows a disconnect with the price to cash flow ratio of 7.3 being measurably lower than its own three-year average of 8.8. .8. And the yield, as shown earlier, is higher than its recent historical average. I value shares using a dividend discount model analysis. I factored in a 9% discount rate due to the high yield and a long-term dividend growth rate of 4%. That dividend growth rate is slightly higher than the company's dividend growth rate over the last five years. On the other hand, it's lower than the long-term earnings per share growth rate, as well as the forecast for near-term earnings per share growth. With a sensible payout ratio, I don't think it's a stretch for Duke Energy to compound its dividend at a 4% annual rate from here. The dividend discount model analysis gives me a fair value of $78.62. The reason I use a dividend discount model analysis is because a business is ultimately equal to the sum of all the future cash flow it can provide. The dividend discount model analysis is a tailored version of the discounted cash flow model analysis, as it simply substitutes dividends and dividend growth for cash flow and growth. It then discounts those future dividends back to the present day to account for the time value of money since a dollar tomorrow is not worth the same amount as a dollar today. I find it to be a fairly accurate way to value dividend growth stocks. We can compare that to where professional equity analysts are at with this stock. Morningstar rates Duke as a four-star stock with a fair value estimate of $95. CFRA rates Duke as a four-star buy with a 12-month target price of $93. I came out the lowest. Perhaps I was too conservative. Averaging the three numbers out gives us a final valuation of $88.87, which would indicate the stock is possibly 9% undervalued. Here's the bottom line, guys. Duke Energy Corp is a company providing a vital service to society, more or less unaffected by the national emergency. And they do so via local monopolies. That makes its market-smashing dividend more secure than others. With a 4.6% yield, a sensible payout ratio, 15 consecutive years of dividend raises, and the potential that shares are 9% undervalued, this is a stock that dividend growth investors should strongly consider picking up while it's on sale. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give us a like if you did. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you're notified of new content when it comes out. Also, be sure to check the description box below for some additional information and links. I'll see you next time.